gosh, I have this Mechathune Warlock, but I've never successfully Mechathune to someone to death before. Let's try it. You know what? Let's try it. What have we got to lose? Ladder Stars. That's what we've got to lose. We win in Ladder Stars. Well, on the day we're breaking even. I don't think we want to see Mechathune until the very end of the game. We want our stuff to survive. We want our survival stuff. Okay, so the cards that we cannot play. Cataclysm, Blood Bloom, Galvanizer, the other Galvanizer, Mechathune, because that's the combo. You have to assemble that combo whilst simultaneously staying alive. Okay, Secret Hunter, not necessarily bad. Because we don't ever have to attack into secrets. <laughs> Guess we'll take a Lakari Fellhound, because we're not going to play it. We're going to Skull of the Minari. Ooh, that's kind of dangerous, though. Because if we can't Skull of the Minari, this Lakari Fellhound out, we can never play it, and that would mean that we can't win, ever. Maybe the Void Walker is a safer play. Because <laughs> if all it's going to take is one weapon destruction card, and we just can't win the game. <laughs> Why do you call? Alright, we've already got Blood Bloom. We've already got one of the Galvanizers. We still need our cards, our other cards that do stuff. If we could rip Skull of the Minari, it seems like that would be a pretty good play for this turn. Not that we have any of our demons right now, but... Okay, no, we can do that. We can Felguard. Even if we end up having to destroy one of our mana crystals, that's not too bad. Not gonna attack. Not gonna attack. It's a lot of wolves. Have we cleverly set up a defile by accident or on purpose? So now we have one, two, three, super defile. We can also set up... Okay, so we can clear all the secrets. So now we have one, two, three as far as the wolves go. And so now we can set off these traps. If it's explosive, we can still kill everyone. And as long as it's a creature that has four health or less... It is. Maybe should have life tapped instead of shroom brewed. Oh no, our Shroom Brewer, you guys, I'm seriously. Eight, nine, okay. If we play out the Galvanizer, we kind of tip our hand as to what we're doing. <laughs> I think I'm going to hold on to it for now, until I have to play it to make room. The question is, do I drop this fell guard and set ourselves back one mana? That would put us down to six, which would give us seven mana again next turn, which means we couldn't Primordial Drake. So I'm going to pass. Could try to tempo out a Doomsayer, but I have a feeling he's not going to be able to play, unless he specifically Zombeasts together a Zombeast that... Uh, that was a reason potentially not to play the Plated Beetle, I guess. Because now he has a 3-6. He doesn't need much to kill a Doomsayer now. But he's not going to be able to play whatever creature he makes this turn. So we can we can tempo Doomsayer. 
and probably be alright with it. Trying to decide if we put down this thing to protect that Doomsayer to make sure it goes off. I don't think so. I think the Doomsayer just healing us for an amount of damage is probably fine. Must destroy. Could double Galvanizer now and just go ahead and get our Mechathune down to eight. I'm gonna pass again. Still think it's worth it not to tip our hand just yet. We're getting close to where we just have to play our cards though so that we can draw more cards. We're still missing our skull of the Minari as well. It's just a shame. Oh, got the kill command. Okay. We can just drop that. <laughs> just slam the brakes. Just go ahead and put pump the brakes on this. Oh, deadly shot. No kidding. All right, we've got another one. Yowza. All right, all right. 10 cards. Do not hit the life tap button hand. My hand really wants to, but I'm not gonna. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it now either. Because we still don't have our Cataclysm. Or our Blood Reaver Ghoul Dan. Our Blood Reaver Lieutenant Dan. If the board ever gets totally out of control, we have a reset button that we can hit emphatically. That's both kill commands. Out of kill commands. Okay, taking some hits. We got our other defile though, we can just defile this. Or hellfire it. Actually that would power up both of our spell stones. That might be worth it. Just can't find that skull anywhere. It's a snipe! Give me a break. <laughs> right on time, you jerk. <laughs> Was a bit longer breakfast. Hey, no, nothing wrong with that, German Pantoffel. Nothing wrong with breakfast at all. Supposedly the most important meal of the day. Though a lot of people are making a lot of noise about intermittent fasting. Or interval fasting. Someone just got put in the wall. Lieutenant Dan. What mess have you summoned me to? So now, I'm not sure if it's more correct to use the less upgraded spellstone and save this for a bigger dude, or just heal as much as possible, as aggressively as possible. Or neither. Mom just complaining about Trump's shutdown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It makes everything worse. Uh, when I was flying out of Seattle, there just weren't any TSA folks, you know, because they're not being paid right now. Uh, and that's it's kind of how capitalism works, right? Is you, you pay for stuff. Hey, nice breakfast, though, so that's good. If it's a delicious breakfast, then you're, ready, you're just more ready to face the day. Holy crap, 411? What is this? Oh, it's an Oasis Snapjaw stitched onto a cave hydra. We don't have any demons. Was ironic, yeah. Okay, if I play out Blood Reaver Gul'dan, this is gonna make this Cave Hydra able to clear out all the blueberries. Okay. The end is coming. So he can attack here, which will clear the guys, which is fine. How are we doing on cards? Six cards left. Zilliax. I guess our Blood Mage Thalnos is still in there. I'm trying to decide if I... Uh, oh, God. Wait. Does this summon out the Void Lord before this goes off? Or does this go off before this summons out the Void Lord? This might have been a huge mistake. 
Maybe not, though. If the Void Lord comes out and immediately dies, then we, we immediately bring it back with Blood Reaper Gul'dan. Maybe it's fine. No owls. He's not going to find an owl. Because if he finds an owl, the whole thing's kind of a moot point. Pretty sure that was the wrong way to do Oh. Okay. There we go. Primitive and limited. Alright. So, he'll probably find a way to kill Void Lord. And then we immediately bring it back with Blued Reaver Gul'dan. Echo... Echo Rush Battle... Oh. Gah, gross. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's Echo. <laughs> that's how Echo works. Can't be targeted. Fine. Want to play Hearthstone? <laughs> yeah. This, uh... This is... This is... Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Coin three. Unleash the hounds. Oh, that's right. Both of these dudes have rush. Hey, it'll heal us all the way to 30. Bark, bark. Does Thalnos make Defile go off for two damage twice? No, just... Okay, we have to play Blood Reaver Gul'dan, so I guess we'll just go ahead and do that this turn. Because we have to get it out of our hand. Next turn, we can start doing big board clears and whatever. Just throw this guy away. Now we have the bite, right? The bite is very good. Gotta minimize our blueberry value. No! Can't be targeted by spells and hero powers is kind of gonna put a cramp in our style, though. Last season, rank 18. Proud of yourself. As you should be. As you should be. Climbing the ladder is... Oh man, just really minimal blueberry value. At some point we have to play this twisting mother. Ugh. Is that time now? <laughs> we could just twisting this nether. That's like a lot of blueberries though. It is a lot of blueberries, for sure. I mean we can actually just kind of March the blueberries in there. Maybe now is the time where we get our galvanizers out. Three cards away. We're looking pretty good, though. I think. I think we're looking alright. We just need our Cataclysm, and we just need to play every card in our hand. It's like, next turn, we can Blood Mage, Thalnos, Defile, Shroom, or... We can either Twisting Nether, Bite, or... Blood Mage, Thalnos, Defile, Shroom Brewer, 2, 4, 8, Bite. At some point, we got to throw a Hellfire out there. We can do that. Whenevs. Alright, we're safe from Death Grip. Which is a legitimate concern. Uh, secret, huh? Alright, well, let's see if it's snakes or something. Not. Almost 
Is this gonna be a- is this a rat trap? It is not. Alright, next turn we're gonna draw a Cataclysm. We just play our Twisting Nether. Maybe next turn we Hellfire Shroom Brewer. We have to play Twisting Nether, Shroom Brewer, and Hellfire before we can do our combo. He's not wrong. Open disrespect, heal his face. <laughs> you might just leave the game. <laughs> that was pretty... <laughs> right? I mean... We're not gonna bite him to death. We're in fatigue. We're either gonna win. We're either gonna win with Mechathune or we're gonna lose the game. <laughs> that's that's just where we are right now. No matter what he does this turn, we're gonna twisting nether it. We're gonna start drawing fatigue. He needs to figure out a way to charge us for 28 damage. Nope, oh, rush isn't good enough. Nope, oh, rush isn't good enough. Here it is! The f oh my gosh, this is my first time setting off the Mechathune combo. Where are we, Mechathune? Blood Bloom? Cataclysm. There it is. <laughs> we have asserted our dominance. <laughs> 